I'm Judge Janine Pirro in for Jesse Waters. We begin tonight with a Fox News alert. According to reports, the CDC is urging the Department of Justice to appeal a Florida judge's ruling to invalidate the federal mask mandate for public transportation. This appeal is a brazen attempt by a deeply politicized and corrupt CDC to wrench freedom and personal choice away from Americans. They say masks on planes and trains are necessary for public health due to COVID. So let's take a look at these troubling numbers, shall we? The seven-day average this week for COVID hospitalizations was just over 10,000. To put that number in perspective, in January, we peaked with over 150,000 hospitalizations. Today, we're seeing about 50,000 new COVID cases compared to about almost a million reported at the beginning of the year. This is good news. Things are getting better. Mask mandates are not needed. But the minute the judge made this ruling, the Biden administration had their fists up, ready to fight. We disagreed with the decision immediately. You know, we also don't take photos of flights as data about how the country reacts uh, to issues, um, you know, as whether they're ripping off their, their masks or not. I mean, our focus here was seeing what power we had to preserve uh, what we felt was in the public health interest of the country. You heard it right there. It's all about preserving their power. But what else did we, could we expect from such a politicized CDC? Just look at what they did to our schools. Classrooms were shut down for over a year, and kids remained muzzled for way too long. All thanks to the cozy relationship between the CDC and the teachers' unions, especially the United Federation of Teachers, who colluded with the White House to influence the CDC's guidance for schools. They came up with policies that had little to do with science and everything to do with politics. And the agency is now playing politics at our border as well. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky announced that she would no longer authorize Title 42 at our southern border, effective May 23rd, which would trigger a giant surge of migrants. So, if the CDC no longer thinks COVID is an issue at the border, then why do they think it's a problem on airplanes? We know one thing about the CDC. Under Joe Biden, it's a politicized agency, and it completely destroyed its credibility over the last year. So the question is, can we really rely on the CDC's regulations or opinions, given its shameful track record? I know I can't. While the CDC was double-checking the science before telling the DOJ to file an appeal, the left was busy losing their mind over the judge who made the decision. U.S. District Judge Catherine Kimball Mizell of Florida has become public enemy number one to liberals and the left-wing media. They aren't getting their way. They want masks on planes forever. So it's time to blame someone, and who better than the 35-year-old judge appointed by Donald Trump? That's all the left can focus on. They don't care at all about the legal reasoning or the comprehensive rationale in Judge Mizell's 59-page opinion. No, all they care about is that she's too young and too conservative. We have a lot to get to tonight, including the recent intern turned Trump appointed judge who struck down the transit mask mandate. Her decision ignores or distorts the opinion of most medical experts and raises the danger of a surge in cases, all thanks to a single judge, Trump's youngest and probably worst appointment. She basically is one of those people who's tired of wearing a mask and ruled as such. She was just one of hundreds of judges that were appointed by Donald Trump, young, ideological conservatives who will now shape the judiciary for generations to come. A 33-year-old nominee to the federal bench who never set foot in a courtroom as a lawyer uh, suddenly becomes a public health expert today. So she was young, she was federal of society, therefore uh, she could become a judge. And I was startled by the language in this opinion. 
So now we will see an appeal, and maybe this appeal is a good thing. Before all this went down this evening, CNN's Jeffrey Tubin told liberals to be careful what they wished for. The problem is, if they appeal or if they, you know, if they fail, and you know the courts are so politicized now, and they'd be in the Eleventh Circuit, uh, which is a conservative court. If they appeal, they could get a worse ruling that has broader application against the CDC. So the the question is, do they push this? Or do they simply let it lie? Because remember, the only thing that this order does is stop between stop the mass mandate between now and May 3rd. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.